Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my most useful tips and tricks in Word. So the first one is how to return to the default font and settings. So for example here's my document title. If I go to the home tab I increase the font size, I make it bold, I underline it and I take it to the center. If I click my cursor and I press enter you'll see that once I start typing I've got the same format as the title above. However, if I go up and select this icon here, clear all formatting, I can simply start typing and it will return my formatting to the original default. The second tip is how to insert random text. All you need to do is press equals, press your open parentheses, then type rand, open parentheses, then you need to select the amount of sentences you would like in your paragraphs. So I'll select three, comma, and then how many paragraphs you want. I'll select three, close parentheses, and press enter. And then Word will insert all that text for you. The next one is the format painter. So let's say, for example, we select this text, we make it bold, we change the font, and we increase the font size. If we want to copy this formatting to some more text, then just click amongst the text, go to the Painter tool, and then you can click over the text you want to change, and it will change that text. Now you'll notice that my cursor has gone back to the original. So what if you want to change multiple pieces of text to the same formatting? Then all you need to do is click the cursor amongst the text again, but this time double click on the painter tool and then I'll select some text and then you can see my painter tool remains on my cursor and I can go ahead and select multiple selections of that tool to change the font and obviously this is really useful for any types of headings. One quick tip is to go back multiple steps just command or control Z on your keyboard keep clicking and it will take you back to the action you did previously. My next tip is how to create shortcut keys. So for example, when I'm using a table, often I will select a number of cells, I'll go up to table layout and then I'll go across to merge cells. However, I've now created a shortcut key that all I do is select those cells, command or control R, and that action does it for me. To do that, go to tools, go down to customize keyboard. So you can see here we've got categories. So if I scroll down to table and scroll down to table merge cells, you can see my current key is command R. If I remove that, you can see there's no current key for it. So if I go down to press new keyboard shortcut, command or control R, you can see it warns you that it's currently assigned to write paragraph. If you don't use that command very often, which I don't, then you can change it and select this one. If you do, then you can go ahead and select a different shortcut key until you find the right one, and then just click Assign, and then click OK. And now when you go ahead and click those cells, Command R, and it will merge those cells. And the same way, you can do that for splitting cells, or splitting tables, or any other commands that are available in that menu. Another fantastic tool is line spacing, just a quick shortcut. If you select your paragraph by just clicking inside that paragraph anywhere and selecting command or control and two, it will double your line spacing. Command or control one will go back to the original spacing or command or control five will do 0.5 for you. If you want to create lines in your document, then the one to go above your cursor is the simple line key three times and press enter. If you want a dotted line, if you just press the star key three times, press enter. And again, with the equal sign, you can produce a double line. And finally, if you want to save your document as a template, once you've completed your document, go to file, Go to save as template, save your document title up here, make sure you're saving it into the templates file, and then down at the bottom here, make sure your file format is Word template, and then simply click save. And all that will do 
is make sure that when you open Word, you're faced with your templates at the top, then you can go and look in your personal templates and that will be available for you to use over and over again. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.